It's about using what you've got to get good enough product shots. If you don't have a gimbal or a slider, this is what you can do with only a few cheap items. I wish I had a slider, but I don't, and honestly I don't know if I will need one either. They can be expensive, they take up space, and that's another thing you need to charge as well. I still want one though. Anyway, I usually only do product shots when I'm reviewing stuff for my mountain bike channel. Just a few short clips to add some interesting perspectives to the video. So for me, it's not about getting the absolute perfect shots. The real review takes place in the woods. But I want these shots to be good enough anyway. I usually use my gimbal for this. But when getting very close to a subject, the footage can get a bit wobbly. A gimbal is not the best tool for the job, even if I can get away with it. A better way is to actually only use a regular everyday tripod with some bits and pieces attached to it. Maybe you already have what's needed at home. A vital part to get these shots is this. It's an extension arm. It should be long enough and this 12 euro arm can be extended. I think even a longer arm would work better. But if you don't have an extension arm, there's still hope. You might have a tripod with a detachable center column, like this one. This can be used as an extension arm too. Let's start with this first shot, which is the easiest shot to set up. It's also incredibly easy to get a smooth result, and I think it resembles a shot made from a slider with a fixed point function. The parts I use for this shot is a tripod, which can rotate at its base, the extension arm and also a ball head. You can use any ball head for this. Align the tripod right under the subject under the table and let the arm move freely outside of the table. Choice of camera matters since weight is an issue once you start adding extension arms. I use a small point and shoot camera but I think a GoPro or a smartphone will work well too just as long as there's enough light. These cameras have small sensors and you don't want to introduce too much noise to the image. This is filmed with the GoPro without the light turned on. Light matters for another reason too, and that's because I shoot in 120 frames per second. This allows me to slow down the footage and that will smooth out all little bumps and shakes. Unfortunately, with this camera, I can only film 120 frames per second in 1080p. So maybe a GoPro with a higher resolution would be a better option. There's no shallow depth of field with this camera though. I know a full frame camera with more balanced light will produce a better image, but that's a level up from where we are and it would require more expensive and heavy duty equipment. Back to this shot. Again, super simple to set up and it almost takes care of the shot itself. I think the result is spot on and there is zero stabilization needed in post here. Highly recommended. Now the obvious tool for getting all of these shots is to use a tripod like this with a built-in extension arm that can be tilted to different positions. I think that would be a much more stable setup. Or there are these types of extension arms available too. A little bit more money of course, but possibly a better solution. This video, as mentioned, is about using what you got, but I think if you intend to do a lot of these type of shots, it would be wise to invest in something like that. Personally, I would probably get a stable tripod, a more stable tripod than this, with that extension arm, since I happened to sell my heavy Manfrotto tripod. I didn't think that I would need it, but it turns out I do for these shots. The next shot is this one. It can be a bit tricky to pull off, and to help with this vertical motion, I will add a video head to the base of the tripod. This thing is now a Frankenstein's monster, but it works. It looks simple enough, but here's where you might run into some problems. Depending on your gear, you might need a few extra adapter screws and a couple of more Arca Swiss plates. I was lucky to get this Mambili ball head, which came with two adapter screws and even two plates as well. That saves me like at least 20 euros to not have to buy extra parts. There's another convenient function with this ball head and it's the ability to rotate the camera around this axis. Sometimes the camera isn't aligned perfectly with the Arca Swiss plate, and this thing makes it so easy to adjust the position of the camera. Anyway, some fiddling is part of the process, and once set up, it's pretty easy to get that shot. The same principles apply here. There's a fixed point which the camera aims for, 
and it's easiest to move everything up at the top position to align the camera properly. Then simply drop the arm. This is the next shot, which is the most difficult one to pull off. I use the same setup here, but I loosen the screws for the ball head to allow for some handheld motion while moving the arm diagonally. It feels like a hack and it sort of is. It's difficult to get everything very smooth, but after a few tries, I usually get it. Finally, it's this top down shot. And here's where things can get a little bit wobbly, especially with this tripod. It still works though, and I think this is a shot that adds an interesting perspective. It's pretty straightforward really. Just make sure that the extension arm can rotate in some way and hopefully nothing will tip over. I have made a few DUI slider attempts, uh, which actually works despite the looks. But I feel this slider on a piece of wood is very limited. The only shot that I cannot do with that extension arm is this backwards and forward motion. I still have to figure out how to do that with a tripod. If you have any suggestions on how to do that, please let me know. Bye.